So this is a little something I grabbed on my way home from work. I had a look in the local thrift shop. Um, was looking at the CDs, DVDs. And next to where they have the CDs and DVDs, there's a little room to one side where they price up um, recent donations before they put them on the shelf. And the woman said, you collect military stuff, don't you? And I said, yeah. She said, would you be interested in any of these? And I said, oh, what's them? And from a distance, she went, oh, somebody's just brought a lot of these in. A lot of them have just been brought in. Would you be interested in them? So in among them, there was a lot of uh, theatre programmes, uh, other bits and pieces. So I had a look through the lot, put them all together. I says, how much do you want for this? How many do you want? She says, I says, I'll take that many. And she went, three pound for the lot. So I went, yep, pay me three pound, got them. Still in the bag. This is the first time I've had a really good look at them. So this is what I got today in the local thrift shop um, for three pound for the lot. Bargain price. Um, so it just goes to show that there are still bargains to be found in the thrift shop. So the first thing is this, the Battle of Egypt, the official record in pictures and with a map price seven pence. So that's what all about. And they're all kind of wartime period publications. So there was that, the Battle of Egypt. Let's see what else we've got. So we've also got the Battle of Steel, which is a record of the British iron and steel industry at war. That's quite a nice item. There's a bit of a fold out thing there. Pre war sources of supply of Wolfram, Molybdenum, manganese, and chrome ore. That's quite a nice publication. And the next one HM Submarines. The story of. Price nine pence. That's from 1945. And we've got the aircraft builders, an account of British aircraft production, 1935 to 45, price nine pence. That's one I've not had before. And we've got we speak from the air, broadcast by the RAF, price six pence. That was 1942. The Mediterranean Fleet, Greece to Tripoli, the Admiralty account of our naval operations, April 41 to January 43, price one shilling and sixpence. And we also got AC Rescue, price sixpence. And there's no cover on that one. I think it's something to do with His Majesty's Minesweepers, 1943, produced by the Ministry of Information. Then we have Target Germany, the US Army Air Force's official story of the 567 8th Bomber Command first year over Europe, price one shilling and sixpence. find then fleet air arm the admiralty account of naval air operations one shilling and sixpence then we have a complete with tatty copy of the battle of britain august to october 1940 need more room then we have Front line 1940 to 41. This is the British home front. Got the civil defence services, fire services, etc. Then we have Ark Royal, the Admiralty account of her achievement, price nine pence. So this is all about a single ship. Then 
<coughs> another RAF one over to you new broadcast by the RAF that was 1943 then RAF Middle East the official story of air operations Feb 42 Jan 43 And, what's this one? Coastal Command, fairly tatty. But it's complete, back cover's missing from it. That's Coastal Command. Which is the Air Ministry account of the part played by Coastal Command in the Battle of the Seas, 1939-1942. By air to battle, the official account of the British Airborne Division's one shilling net and that is from 1945 first edition then we have Arctic War Norway's role on the northern front one shilling then Atlantic Bridge, the official account of RAF Transport Command's Ocean Ferry, priced 9 pence, 1945. And they've all got the same guy's naming, Raymond Powerwood, Allwood, 1945. So it's likely some old person's clean out. This is the Battle of the River Plate, very, very tatty. I've not seen this one before. It's a picture post special, price sixpence. So I've never actually had this one before. Can't be many picture post specials about. The men who beat the Graf Spee marched through London. The Battle of the River Plate. So this one may be worthy of its own video at some time. It's fallen to pieces, but quite a nice item. And I think, yep, it's all there as well. that one the battle of the river plate and then there's bomber command continues this is the air ministry account of the rising offensive against germany july 41 to june 42 then there's the back page off something there coastal command I have Coastal Command, so that, that's a back page for Coastal Command. Then we have the Eighth Army, price a shilling. And this one, obviously, it's the Desert Campaign. The Eighth Army, September 41 to January 43. And again, it's got the same guy's name in, but March 1944. So the guy's obviously collected these in wartime. Then he's gone and died, and somebody's cleaned his house out, and they've all ended up in the local thrift shop. Merchant Men at War, one shilling and nine pence. The official story of the Merchant Navy, 1939 to 44. And I'm rapidly running out of space. So we'll go back in the bag again. Combined operations, 1940 to 42. Price one shilling. Oh, nice book. Go there. Back in the bag again. East of Malta, west of Suez. The Admiralty account of the naval war in the East Mediterranean, September 39 to March 41. That's another one. Back in the bag again. Bomber Command. The Air Ministry account of Bomber Command's offensive against the Axis, September 39, July 41. And getting down to the last few. The first official account of the Royal Armoured Corps. Through mud and blood to the green fields beyond price one shilling. Regiments that make up the Royal Armoured Corps, so it's nice to see this one. Oh, we 
pre-war tanks and stuff. It's quite nice. And then, finally, the air battle of Malta. Price one shilling. Official account of the RAF in Malta, June 40 to November 1942. Produced 1944. So, for an outlet, was, there's something else in there as well. What else have we got? Roof over Britain. The official story of the anti-aircraft defences, 1939 to 42, price 9 pence. Published in 43. That's quite a nice thing. So, for an outlay of £3 today, I got all of these World War II HMSO publications for 3 quid. So it just goes to show that there's bargains still to be had, all because someone cleared out someone else's house and dumped them all in the local thrift shop. It's just a case of being in the right place at the right time.